Here we have this SAT math question and we are given this quadratic expression and want to find out this is equivalent to which of these. Of course, we can do this the algebra way, which is to complete a square, or we can just do this the SAT way, which is just to plug in the number and check. So let's make that happen. Okay, I'm going to use zero for x. If x is equal to zero, then we should get four because it's zero does zero does four. And now let's plug in zero into here. That will be three. Three squared is nine plus five. That will give us 14. That's not four, so this is not the answer. And then of course we can also plug in zero into this x. This is three squared, which is nine, but minus five, this will give us four. It could be the answer. We should also check the other ones. Okay, plugging 0 into here, 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared means negative 3 times negative 3 is plus d9. And then plus 5 is 14. No, this is not the answer. And then plugging 0 into here, that's negative 3 squared, which is 9. Minus 5, ah, this is also 4. So now we have a 50-50 chance. But you know it, you can just pick another number. But before I, I do that, I will tell you, you see how this coefficient is positive, right? The positive, the plus 6x. So if that's the case, the answer is b, because we have a plus right here. But let me just confirm that with you guys. Let's say I want to let x equal to 1. In that case, if 1 is for x, then this will be 1, plus 6 is 7, 7 plus 4 is 11. Then we should get 11. And you see, if I put 1 here, 1 plus 3 is 4, square is 16, and then minus 5, we do get 11. If we put 1 right here, 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Square that, we get 4. Yeah, and then 4 minus 5 is negative 1. So we can get rid of that. All right? So that's how you can do it. Just plug in number, perhaps the best SAT strategy for that. Now let's talk about how we can do this the algebra way. Again, is that we have to complete the square. And to do so, let me just write that down again. We have x squared plus 6x. And for the plus 4, I'm just going to leave a space here first and then put on the plus 4. And the reason why is because now we are going to look at this number and then figure out the magic number. And that will be going right here. Okay? And to figure out the magic number, we have to first make sure that we have a 1 here. We do. So look at this number, which is 6, and then we take half of this number, which is 6, and then we have to square that. So that's a little formula for the magic number. Okay, half of 6 is 3, 3 squared is 9, so this is the number that we will have to add right here. But in the meantime, we will also have to minus 9 right here. So that is like adding 0, so we can maintain the same expression right, in terms of the value-wise. And now, for the first three terms, we can factor it. And let me just impress you guys with the tic tac method. This is so cool, I love it so much, because you see x times x will give us x squared, and then 3 times 3 will give us the 9, so that's good. And then, x times 3 is 3x, and then 3 times x is 3x. Together, we do end up with the 6x. The factors are x plus 3 times x plus 3. So we do get x plus 3 and then square. And then 4 minus 9, we have the minus 5. So this right here is the CTS completing the square method. So hopefully this right here helps and um, Check out the next video over there.